So just wanted to do uh, my perfect ABS settings for me. Uh, so for me, I like to actually warm up the bed to about 30 degrees. It's at 34. It usually, the longer I put it, obviously it's going to keep going up. Um, I feel like 30 is optimal. I have my bed heat set at 115 on the slicer. But when I actually measure it, it's actually about 95. That's why I set it to one, uh, 115. So go ahead and make sure to measure your actual bed temperature. Um, you can just put your filaments on a filament spool, but I actually want to use TPU, so that's why I have this thing here. And this actually provides a much more better filament path with the ball bearing in there. So you see the filament just, there's no, no restriction. So if you want it to go faster, I, I would actually recommend doing something like that. That will help you even go faster. You know, no restriction just means it's going to better print. I'll go faster. Um, also, I, ha I don't start the printer until it's around 30 degrees in the enclosure, which takes me about roughly 20 to 30 minutes. And then I'll start start printing it. I use a the probe. I use the Omron probe that came with my Thornbot kit. Uh, works perfect. Uh, I don't use a Z and offset. I hate that thing. It just was just uh, <laughs> it's just a problem. I do have a Nevermore filter running at 0 0.7 power, not uh, at full one. Um, with that, I also now started using a bed mesh, but I only um, I only do it once. Like I'll heat it up everything to the chamber to 30 degrees or higher, and then um, I'll do a bed mesh once and then that's it when i print i just uh, increase the heat um, soak the chamber to 30 degrees and then i just use the same bed mesh and i don't even take the plate out because i don't want it to mess with the bed mesh even a little bit um, because the parts pop off um, you want it to cool down slowly so it doesn't warp so I just wait till it's back at about 30 degrees and everything pops out. And when the bed is reaches about 30, 40 degrees, everything just pops out. So I just pull it out. Um, I don't really have to clean the plate because I'm just grabbing the parts off it. I just make sure my hands are not oily. I don't have some kind of sensitive um, thing on there. And then it's right there. Perfect prints every time. Uh, perfect, perfect first layers, even with bigger prints. Uh, with the bed mesh now I can do really big prints and I get a perfect first layer uh, I don't have to adjust anything. It's just an automatic machine now. The only thing I got to do next um, I need to install like a smart filament sensor Because when I run out of spool, it'll just keep printing. So you'll see like <laughs> You'll you'll see like like something that's printed 80% and the printer is just out of filament um so that's something i'm gonna have to improve upon eventually so i'm gonna like, grab a btt a filter but so far this has been working out really good absolutely no warping uh, i'm getting like just perfect prints printing at 250 degrees celsius bed temperature again at 115. let me see if i can show you my slicer settings real quick There's, um Super Slicer. You should be using Super Slicer. Uh, way more settings than Prusa Slicer. I use Prusa only for my Prusas. Uh, my current speeds. I'll go ahead and show you. I haven't speeded up yet because I still I I want to. This has like been like what three weeks since I got this printer. And let me actually just load up what I'm printing right now. Slice that. Okay, that's what it's printing. It's a, it's a skateboard uh, hub. Actually works really well. I've been riding it for the whole week. Um, speed settings, yeah, that's important. So I'm doing mostly perimeter 120, 100. Uh, acceleration for perimeters 8,000 and then 6,000 for ex external infill 7,000. So I'm doing roughly 7, 8K at 120 um, millimeters for perimeter not not super fast but of course more importantly abs i've got to set at 11 um uh, millimeters cubed uh, abs you can't you can't go too fast 
in my opinion. Or at least with the, with the um, the Dragon standard flow that I got here, it's it's not the most high flow. Maybe I'll have to upgrade my hot end eventually. Um, extrusion multiplier 0 0.98. Cooling, I've got it all turned off except for bridges 20%. That's been working out like really well. And I've got short layer time, a uh, very short layer time set also. Um, so yeah, it's, it's just been printing like beautifully. So that's why I'm not trying to increase the speed for right now. But that's how fast it runs at that, those slow settings. Um, but yeah, beautiful prints. I'm going to eventually speed it up, but I mean, I'm just getting such a perfect print. Now I'm, I'm actually getting really good quality. Like if I print <coughs> with my Prusa, one of the biggest, things, biggest changes I've seen against the Prusa is when I print cylindrical objects, I think I have one here printed with the Prusa, you get a lot of like sort of, you know, you don't get a true circle. Right, I think I think maybe this guy here. Um, I don't know if I can show you, but but with the Voron, I, I I notice I get way truer like cylindrical, like I don't notice like little little edges that I see with the Perusa. So that's been the biggest change I mean, in in terms of quality. Um, not printing super fast, so I'm really loving it. Sorry, I'm. I'm just in love with my Voron. I, I just got married to my Voron 2.4 last week. We just we just got our marriage license. We're gonna go on honeymoon. We're going to honey, uh, Hawaii next month. Me and my printer. <laughs> I right, have a great day, guys. Just want to show you my my little ABS setup with the Voron 2.4, 350. Um, I'm also also building another one that I'm. Actually, editing the video uh, for tutorials for those of you guys uh, building your printer for the first time. I'm in the middle of editing, but I got bored and that looks like a Pokemon. <laughs> to use an, I had to use a part because I one of the parts was warped, so I had this other part that wasn't warped. And, and it ends up sort of looking Pokemon-ish. That's kind of cool. I might do that for the next build. And just, these are the Z drives. Just, Half, half, different colors. Oh, that's a, such a good idea. Anyway, have a great day, guys. Have a Voron day.